Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Finally, guys. Finally, we have something. Is something happened in crypto market? Well, maybe some of you don't really like it, don't really appreciate the red color, but at least something is moving. So in my opinion, it's better to go down and then up than just go sideways. Um, so again, uh, the same period, same same region for Bitcoin. A lot of the altcoins went even lower, much lower than Bitcoin. Has some reasons for that. Have some predictions what will happen next. You're watching Grip and Hamster channel, guys. Let's go. Let's go. So a lot of people were worrying about this thing uh, happened just yesterday or depending on where you are this night, this morning. <clears throat> so the thing is a um, lot of transaction didn't pass in Tether blockchain and people were starting thinking, okay, we are about to have this uh, bubble blow up or whatever it happened and um, everybody were worried. So maybe like let's remove our funds from USDT to TrueSD or just Fiat or whatever. So that was probably a partial like not a reason but at least an excuse for things happened in the way that they ha it happened with Bitcoin. And uh, actually eventually oh, you can check yes for the Omni Explorer the same thing like the transactions and everything. But Eventually, the Twitter, Omni Twitter, they say that, yeah, we noticed this thing, we're um, investigating, and then finally say, okay, we are about to uh, fix this, and uh, the thing will be, things will be fine eventually, quite soon. So we're doing doing our job, blah, blah yada yada yada. The uh, idea that nothing is crucial, just don't don't worry. Uh, but still, it, it's far, way far from the other collapse, in my opinion. The thing is just this sort of a... The market is is really in the state of being explosive. So every minor thing which is sort of expected in one uh, way or another, like bullish or bearish, uh, like giving it even a hint for a huge thing to uh, ev evolve, may lead to significant change in the price but the thing is actually that you remember that we were traded around this area before like 6400 and then we went down to 6200 and then we went up again to 6450 again and so now we dropped back to 6200 and basically nothing changed this is the same huge corridor just like the bottom of this corridor is, is around here now and uh, yeah, we basically the same state, but the way how people react, uh, like in Twitter, in uh, Telegram groups, they say, "Oh, we're we're about to go to 1K." Or, yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's just it's it's crazy how the like the nerves are sort of in a very stressed condition for the most of the people who are expecting the next move in crypto in Bitcoin in particular. So in my case, I, I, I'm still waiting. You see this didn't happen, but I just expected, well, the reason why I drew that and I gave that the, be the best chance, and again, remember guys, I told like 20, 25% maybe, maybe, I don't know, something like this, but that it's even not higher than 50% probability of this to happen. So I thought that this sort of a momentum can drive that and you, you saw that we actually tried to push a bit higher but didn't make it probably because <clears throat> just the market uh, was more in favor of the bears so like people were more bearish try to fix some uh, profits or cut losses and something like that uh, or manipulators whales didn't see the opportunity to make profit on, on this this jump but still we're um, around this area so I wouldn't call it like the move down so maybe it should go down from the current level like 6200 and again <clears throat> if you remember yesterday I was talking about the fact that uh, this uh, 6200 is very like a crucial thing and a lot of the huge investors look at that so now we're even closer to this level and any like a week down 
um, also there are probably some reasonable number of the stop losses for uh, long positions and uh, if we'll go down probably like avalanche process may start and we can easily go below 6k maybe we'll actually make like a brief stop at 6k people will buy in but huge probability that we will go lower so I, I would be happy with that because I, I want to buy in more before ETFs um, actually we don't know what will happen with ETF yeah right but still this is like one of the best chances to step into the market especially with altcoins will be probably like below uh, any reasonable um, price levels so that, that that's it so we are we're good we're good basically um, looking at the shorts and longs at the moment again longs are dropped shorts uh, increased very reasonable sorry about advertisements so very reasonable movement um, <clears throat> again uh, the number of shorts is so hot so high that probably we will not have a like a, that long maybe a drop or that severe drop like below 5000 or something so those people will not be able to gain but still i would expect currently i would expect the drop to happen so i, I don't think that will go directly like straight from that to, to the top although still maybe this will be still delayed so maybe it's like actually this point should be like around here and everything will be very fast who knows but uh, I would expect at least one point at the bottom and uh, the rise eventually after that, especially if ETFs will be approved. So that's the whole point, guys. Um, not, not so much to worry about. Uh, please consider to um, subscribe and leave a like. And don't forget that everything which I say is not my personal opinion, but is not, <laughs> is not financial advice, but my personal opinion. So please do your own research and make your decision on your own risk. So that's it. See you tomorrow. Hopefully we'll see some more drop. Oh, oh up to you guys. Maybe you want to see a little bit of the rise, but I would like to see some more drop. Finally, some movement with Bitcoin. Something interesting is happening. Maybe I'll look some of the altcoins eventually and pick some of the like nice candidates to run the next rise to be the best performance. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. So that that's it. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a nice trade. Goodbye. Thank you.